Selama 10 tahun sejak saya mula bercakap berkenaan dengan Linus saya sentiasa mengatakan berkenaan dengan radioactive waste yang selama ini tidak tidak diketengahkan oleh Linus dan saya sentiasa menegaskan bahawa lamp tidak harus berada di situ kerana di situ ada manusia di situ ada kanak-kanak di situ ada air bawah tanah di situ ada perumahan di situ ada pokok-pokok binatang sungai dan laut di situ ada nelayan yang mencari nafkah melalui pekerjaan menangkap ikan saya sentiasa bercakap bahawa waste itu radioactive waste itu tidak harus berada di situ pada hari ini melalui dapatan daripada review committee saya I fear for the people of Kuantan. There's 1,000 more times of nickel in underwater in Kuantan. And Linus today nak saman kerajaan dan mengatakan bahawa review komiti kata selamat. Laporan ini keluar daripada laporan review komiti bukan daripada mana-mana. And the review committee have been fair and upheld their integrity. They are scientists. They have no interest. They only have the interest of their areas of expertise and their integrity. Saya bercampur rasa marah, rasa sedih, rasa kesal. And imagine for so long we have allowed them to store their waste on site. And now it is proven that it has migrated into our underground water. We don't want 20 years down the road and then we say, oops, suddenly there is increase in cancer. Who will pay for it? Adakah kita akan kata uh, selamat kerana semata-mata kerana pada hari ini Linus kata ianya selamat. The precautionary principle must apply. People before profits. And on behalf of the Kuantan people, I'm saying to Linus, stop bullying us. Please stop bullying us. Send your ways back to Australia. We don't want it here. Yes. Yes. And thank you to all the media. Thank you to my comrades and my colleagues in parliament for their support to me throughout throughout the time that I've spoke up against Linus. So I hope that um, that uh, media can also help us in uh, to, uh, disseminating this information to the public. There will be more. Why we found out, why the review committee found out? Because there was a baseline study. There was a baseline study in 2007. It is in this, uh, 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 in our release that we're going to give you. It, there was a baseline study in 2007 and the reading was very very low yeah and there's a jump after Linus went into operations it is not it cannot be due to any other things because you know in an open storage like that dulu whenever it rains it spills out and then there is possible leaching into the ground soil so that's just one example you see is nickel is very high but there's also mercury you can look at the table so Actually, I want to tell you, Linus did not highlight it. The review committee spotted it and red flagged it. But yet, Linus chose to highlight another part of the, the report. So, they chose to highlight the first page in the report. This is Linus bullying tactics all this while. And I want to tell you that. And uh, I think the content people have had enough of this. Dah lah, cukup lah. Yeah, it's time to tell Linus. And uh, in my position, the minister have given until September 2019 for liners to uh, send their ways back. We are saying that they should do it immediately. The monsoon season is coming. It will be very, very heavy rain. Flood, over, it will overflow. Flood is expected at the end of December. And uh, the groundwater will just flow into the sungai, into the sea and so on. So thank you very much.